Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Zapier to Go High Level in 2023. Go High Level is a powerful marketing automation and CRM platform. And Zapier is an automation tool that connects different apps. So in this comprehensive guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to integrate Zapier with Go High Level. So make sure to stick by the dive right into this video and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll have to go and sign up for a zapier account to do so go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case you can use any other browser that you could possibly have once you open that browser make sure to go to this url section and here basically you'll have to type zapier dot com and hit the enter button once you do so instead of the dashboard like that you'll find yourself in their home screen or main screen as you can see here if you don't know much about this website you can always scroll down read more information about this example on how the integrations work and of course if you have an account you can simply go to the top right corner and click on login to login into your account if you don't have an account, you can simply go and click on sign up instead to sign up for a new account. Of course, you can always sign up for free with email or Google if you don't want to get through all the bonus steps of creating or even logging in into your account. As an example, when I click here on login, I'll be able to log in with Google and a lot of other options. For me, I'll just choose Google and they show me just their Google because I've used this a lot and I use it like uh, the cookies to remember that I log in with Google, so they show me Google there. Of course, I can, as an example, choose another thing let me just go back and click on login and as you can see here you'll be able to click on use email address on login uh, if you click on it as you can see you'll find other options other than google so depending on whatever you want so for me again as i said i'll choose google here and i'll choose my account and this will just get me into my dashboard right away here the first thing that we'll need to do after we're logged in into our account or just created our account we would like of course to go to this list panel and make sure to click on apps what we'll need to do here is simply go and click on the search apps and here we will have to type go high level as you can see they are telling us no matching connections we can go back to the dashboard example and in this uh, automation tool we can simply type how to connect like go high level with zapier and hit the enter button and of course let's just wait for them until they give us an answer so let's just wait it should not take like a lot of time as you can see it's generating for us and in the meanwhile while we are waiting for this as example so as you can see they are or they answer us already so here as you can see this not uh, or this may not be a workflow to connect go high level with zapier you can use Go High Level Zapier integration. You can search for it in the Zapier app directory and follow the instructions to set up the connection. Go High Level might not be currently supported. Send us a request to get it added to the app directory. So basically, you'll have to go and send them a request if you don't find it here as an example. So as you can see, request to add a new app to Zapier. So all supported apps are listed on Zapier's app directory. If the app you want to use with Zapier is not currently supported, there are three ways to request to add the app to Zapier. Through Zapier support, through Zapier trusted app developers, or through Zapier developer platform. Of course, every step here is showed or showing how to do it with details. You can go and check that. They are giving you even here a YouTube video. Or as an example, for the free plan you don't get all the apps you can simply go to this upgraded plan first of all and make sure to go and upgrade your plan do not get the starter pack make sure to get the professional pack because it gets you unlimited premium apps that means all the apps that are exclusive available for some users maybe i did not find go high level because i am just a free user or a normal user not a premium one if you are a premium one you may find it and of course you can even get this custom logic with bats this will get you the option of even if you didn't find it with premium to get your requests answered like very fast and they can even accept your requests and get the app as soon as possible once you get the app make sure to go to apps here and search for go high level and make sure to go and connect it or sign in into that app 
Once you do so, make sure now to go to the last panel again and go and click on create a zap. Once you click there, make sure to scroll down and here you will have to do two things, trigger and action. You will have to go and choose a trigger app. For this tutorial example, it's going to be go high level. And of course, the trigger app will be an app or service that will initiate an action in go high level. You can search for it and select the app that you want to use as trigger. Click on that as you can see and make sure to search for it. I'll just choose for here as example Gmail for you once your requests or if you find this in premium, you can simply go and choose go high level here. And of course, now you'll have to go and choose the event. For the event, I'll just choose a new email. And here, of course, on the account, you'll have to go and sign in into that account. Once you do, once you choose the app uh, or trigger app, as I said, you'll have to choose the events. Once you choose it, you'll have to connect your trigger app. Now, you'll have to set up any trigger option that you may want once you sign in into your app. And once you do so, of course, now you'll have to go and choose an action to that app. As an example, in the action, here we can find like, or we can click here on tables, like create some Zapier tables. And of course, the events, I'll just choose like here, create a record. And of course, you can go now to action and enter the table ID if you have one or simply custom one, depending on whatever you want. Of course, for you, just choose a, like an action event and action app, depending on whatever you want. And you can even connect your Google or Go High Level account once you finish all of that. Of course, once you finish, make sure to specify the details for the action you want for Go High Level to perform. As you can see for me, I have just two zaps. I'll not be able to add more. For you to have or to add more steps, you will have to go and upgrade your plan. If you upgrade it to premium, you will have limited uh, zaps, so you'll be able to add more. Once you finish all of those, you'll be able to test the zap. Once you set up like your action, your trigger, zap, uh, of course, you can now turn on your zap here. It will start automating tasks based on the trigger and action you set up. And of course, that's if you test it, if you test the entire workflow to ensure like everything is working as, as expected. If everything is working as, as expected, you can always turn it on and even fix it to publish. And that's going to be it. Of course, just as a recap, you can simply go and choose the trigger, trigger event, then choose the action that it will be done and even the action event. And you will be good to go. So if you reach this point of this video, congratulations, you have successfully connected Zapier to go high level in 2023. With this integration, you can automate various tasks in your marketing and CRM workflow, enhancing its capabilities. So remember to regularly review and monitor your Zaps to ensure they are functioning as intended. So thank you for watching and happy automating. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And of course, I'll see you in the next video.